In this video, I want to talk a little bit about the amino acyl tRNA synthetase reaction. So amino acyl tRNA synthetase is the enzyme that actually connects an amino acid with its corresponding or with a corresponding tRNA. So what happens here is that the amino acid, so this activates an amino acid and charges a tRNA. So a tRNA molecule. Once it has an amino acid attached to it, it's considered charged. And when an amino acid is attached to a tRNA, that amino acid is considered activated. So basically, we're taking a tRNA, and then we're adding an amino acid to it. Now notice here, in this case, if we have an mRNA strand that is 503 prime and it's CUC, then it should code for leucine. So the anticode on the on this tRNA base pairs here, this GAG base pairs with the mRNA. Now this tRNA should, because it has this anticode on that pairs with this codon, this tRNA should have a leucine attached to it. So we need to make sure that a leucine is indeed attached to it and nothing else is. We don't want a histidine, we don't want a glycine, we want to make sure a leucine is there. If any other amino acid is attached here other than leucine that's incorrect and that's a problem because this mRNA codes for leucine if we're adding anything other than leucine we could seriously damage the protein right the, the protein product would be um, incorrect so the accuracy of translation occurs at this step why well we need the tRNA and the amino acid to match Otherwise, the incorrect amino acid will be incorporated into the peptide chain, and then we can get a faulty protein product. So what does the reaction actually look like? Well, we take an amino acid, right, and I've highlighted the R group in a light pink color here, and that's going to be attached to a tRNA that's specific to that amino acid. Then, of course, uh, the amino acyl tRNA synthetase enzyme will catalyze the reaction and it requires some energy so ATP will be converted into AMP and a pyrophosphate and this pyrophosphate is hydrolyzed off and so this is the equivalent of two ATPs being used for this reaction so then what we get is the amino acid becomes covalently bound to the tRNA now this thing is the amino acyl tRNA. Now something to, to note, to pay particular attention to, is that the amino acid is attached to the CCA end over here. So it's specifically attached to the 3' OH of the CCA end because the 3' end has the free OH group. So that's where the amino acid attaches to the tRNA. That's what they're, where this covalent bond is. So here if we have leucine, we're going to make sure to add leucine to a tRNA that's specific to leucine to make this particular amino acyl tRNA. So I hope you can understand that the accuracy of translation occurs at this step because we want to make sure that we add the correct amino acid to the correct tRNA so that any amino acids that we're incorporating into the peptide chain are indeed correct. So this is a very, very important reaction. Hope that video was helpful. One last thing, I am a tutor. If you live in Southern California, feel free to contact me via email at moofuniversity at gmail.com. See the description below for more details. Thank you for watching.